go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Unam Dekano instructs followers to remain peaceful and law abiding. Unam Dekano instructs followers to remain peaceful and law abiding. Lead Council A Geo4 speaks. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The routine visit to our indefatigable client, Oyedu Mazi Unamdekanu, Ohamadike in the Igbo, was conducted today in line with the prevailing court order. As the D-Day is fast approaching, the need for final dotting of the IS and crossing the TS becomes spelling. Hence, today's visit to substantially anchored on our last minute preparation. Oyedu is delighted with the level of preparedness as reported to him and the anticipated positive outcome come June 28, 2022. Since our briefing was purely privileged, it shall remain private until the die is cast. Oyedu specifically is profoundly enthused with the level of our people's commitment towards reclaiming our land from the marauders desecrating our land. Oyedu specifically requested that Omochineke be reminded, be reminded as follows. 1. That by virtue of what you represent, you should be holy and behave holy at all times, and always be guided by his white out and snow preachings. Two, that you should be seen to be real, to be real children of God. Three, that it is the responsibility of this generation to protect the next generation and you should never indulge in any act capable of endangering the next generation. 4. That anybody sending funds to the monsters, criminal gangs, desecrating and terrorizing our land should count himself themselves among those foiling the kidnapping, killings and violent crimes on our land, and should be reminded that the evil activities of these enemies of our people has given the security agencies the free ingress into our land. The downside resultant effect is that in the course of pursuing these monsters, they ended up abducting and whisking away our innocent sons and daughters caught up in the web. Five, that the one rust task steering on the face of every Omochineke now is to join this formidable front to resist and eradicate all forms of crimes and criminalities on our land and reclaim our land 
there must be total peace on our land. 6. That Omuchineke should snoop out the various hideouts of these marauders and flushed them out without further ado. 7. That our land is under siege by the presence of these criminal gangs and they can no longer be tolerated. Total cleansing of our land is demanded. That our land is holy land and should be kept holy at all times. Consequently, Oyedu commended Umuchineke for not letting him down, particularly in this trying period, and exceptionally appreciate you all for sustaining the fight towards reclaiming our land from criminal gangs. But above all, for remaining peaceful in your conduct and law-abiding, he encourages you all never to relent in keeping on with the good work. Once again, Oedo reminds you all, Omuchineke to remember that as the D-Day approaches, you should intensify your supplications and prayers for the almighty Chuku Okike Abiyama to take absolute control. Thank you all. Remain richly blessed. Omuchineke, we move. The written visit to Lawa in Defati Gebu client, Oyedu Mazi Unamdikanu Ohamadike in the Ibu, was conducted today in line with the prevailing court order. As the D Day is fast approaching, the need for final dotting of the IHS and crossing the TS becomes compelling. Hence, today's visit is substantially anchored on our last-minute preparations. Oyedu is delighted with the level of preparedness, as reported to him and the anticipated positive outcome come June, 20, June 28, 2022. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by. At the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.